I am the president of the Red Dragon Karate Schools here in Southern California. Uh, we've got 14 schools. Uh, we've been doing this since 1965. It's a company that my father started. Um, I've been very fortunate enough to travel all around the country and uh, help educate school owners and uh, business leaders on how to take birthday parties to the next level. So there's essentially two kinds of people that run the birthday party platform. One, or that have birthday parties in general, is some schools do do birthday parties and some schools do not do them. And I'm, I'm just here to tell you that birthday parties are a very, very, very important part of our business platform. And uh, hopefully after today's webinar, you can see the value in doing birthday parties uh, at your school and at your business. If you're already doing them, I'm going to show you a way and give you some tips on, on ways to revamp it and hopefully make them a little bit better uh, because we always try and do everything that we do as a business to generate revenue for our schools. So I will get right into it with you. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, you can type them in your, your chat bar. I'll try and get to them. I'll definitely get to them at the end. But if you have any questions, I'm going along. Uh, feel free just to uh, type those in. So our theme here is how 90 minutes can get you 90% more results. And if you follow the platform and the process, we can pretty much guarantee that for you. Um, when we do the birthday parties, the way that we set them up, first of all is why. Why do we do them? And I have a very specific set of reasons why we do birthday parties at our schools. Number one and foremost is to book more intros. Number two is to generate extra revenue, both for the school and the staff members at the school. Number three is for solid leads. These are people who are excited and want to be at your school, so it's a solid lead. It's not someone that you're just meeting in off the street or someone who's randomly calling the school. And number four, one of the things that we like to do is we use our birthday parties to train the next level of our staff. And I will get into that all in detail. And if you look down the list there, uh, book more intros, extra revenue, solid leads, and train the next level of staff, that's an acronym for one of the things I always like to try and do, and that is to be the best, B-E-S-N-T. So getting into it on booking more intros. The B90Z platform sets up a three-tiered approach to ensure kids can't wait to come back. And it motivates parents to set up appointments before they leave. And this is a key element. And, and first of all, just a quick overview here. Doing a birthday party, if you're already doing them, there's no secret. The, the secret isn't in the party. Pretty much, parties go like this. The kids come in. You have about five minutes of sizzle time, a little pregame with them. You do a few games with them. They're going to break and go for pizza. After pizza, they come back. They do a martial arts class. After the martial arts class, the kid cuts their cake with a samurai sword. Everybody has a great time. It's a lot of fun. But then all those people all of a sudden leave your school. You had a captive audience. And now that captive audience had a great time. They had fun. But there's no call to action. There's no specific direction on how do we get those people to come back. And everybody who's done birthday parties, I always ask people the same question. How are your parties? And they always tell me the same thing. Oh, my parties are great. And then I ask them a very specific question. How many intros did you book from that party? And without exception, most people say, well, the party was great, but I only got one or I only got two. And for a number of years, we were the same way, and I kind of got tired of that. So I decided to come up with a better way, and we toyed with a lot of things and a lot of ideas, and we came up with a system and platform to where now we'll book 90% of our leads that come into the school. So it's not the party. The secret's not in the party. It's the other things that you do. And one of them is creating a vision. And that is that birthdays are fun. Your staff has to see this. You have to understand this. It's not a structured martial arts class. Although there's a little bit of martial arts in it, it's fun. It's 90 minutes of nonstop action. And if you compare our birthday parties to uh, other birthday parties like Chuck E. Cheese or, or any other place like that, all they do is load the kids up with pizza and let them play video games. There's nothing as interactive and hands-on as a martial arts birthday party. And that's what makes us different. It's what makes us unique. And it's what sets us apart from any other birthday party at any other place. I compete with Chuck E. Cheese's, with trampoline places, with laser tag places. Uh, and we're booking party after party because we're so interactive and so hands-on. And we make it so much fun for them. Uh, that also takes us to the second point, which is reinforcing the positive. You can do this. Some school owners I talk to go, I, I don't know. I can't do this. I can't. You can do it. It's easy and it's fun. And even if you don't want to do it, I'm going to teach you how to train people who will want to do that and have a vision for them as well. And, of course, you've got to re reward the results. Okay, Prize matters. The prizes that you give it away at a party, and you will be giving things away 
and that's part of the hooks of making them want to come back, uh, those prizes matter, and it's kind of very important. So we'll get into it now. So that's number one, more intros. Number two is extra revenue. Now, the goal here is to create revenue for your school during idle hours. Now, all of us pay rent. Whether you pay rent or pay a mortgage or pay a lease, you're paying it. You're paying it 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Most of us are closed on Sunday, and we're open half a day on Saturday. But you know what? You still got to pay rent for those building hours. You still got to pay your mortgage for Saturdays and Sundays, even if you're closed. So I wanted to come up with a way to generate revenue during our school's idle hours. Now, here's the great thing. Think about this. During summertime, when kids are out of school, if your school has downtime and you're not running a summer camp, you could do birthday parties during the week. So that's another way to generate revenue on top of that. Customers are also paying you for the privilege of being at your school. So you'll notice there's some key phrasing there, the privilege of being at my school. You don't just get to come here. It's a privilege. And we set it up that way so they understand it. But the key phrase there is customers are paying me to come to my school. Now, if you compare that to traditional advertising, do you want to spend money or do you want to make money? If I spend $500 on an ad and that ad generates five new students for me, it costs me $100 per new student. Now, if I get a contract out of it, then long term that's going to be good, but it's still $100. Now, what we did was we took all of our advertising dollars and we divided it by the amount of students that we gained every month. So the number that we came up with, and most schools traditionally will do this, is it costs us anywhere from $35 to $45 per person to gain a new student. To make that phone ring for the ads that we do, whether it's in a newspaper or clip, uh, coupon clipper or whatever it is, flyers on cars, it averages out to $35 to $45 per student. A birthday party is reverse revenue. People are now paying me $200 to bring me 10, 15, or 20 people to my school. So now my school isn't spending $45 to gain a new student. It's gaining $200 to get 15 students. And that's why I call it reverse marketing at the finest. So now my school, every time that there's a party, it generates over $95 per hour in gross school revenue. We also have party goals that are built into every party. And this is the way that I train my staff and I train school owners across the country to do it. And that is the 90% goal. And that's why it's called B90Z. So 90% intro booking rate. And what that means, if there's a 15-kid party, 90% of those are about 12 kids. So we expect to book 12 appointments. Now, that's way more than one or two that most school owners book. That also, if you take 12 new students and you put them on intros, 90% of that would be about 10 new members. So if you just go lowball on, on enrollment fees, 10 new members at $99 is $999. Plus, if those 10 new members become annual contracts, they sign up for a year, at our school, our monthly rate's $139 a month, so that's $1,690 per person that signs up, or $16,990 in potential business revenue from one single party. And when you think about those numbers and you look at it that way, you should start to see as a business owner, you know what? Birthday parties make sense. People are paying you to bring you new members, potential new members, and you have the ability to sign those people up who already have experience with you and they've had a great time with you. So signing them up should be very, very simple. They've had fun with you. They've done a martial arts class with you. So each party, and that's what I train my staff to look at, is every party isn't a $200 party. It's a $16,000 party. So it makes it fun for them. For me as the business owner, it makes it great. I know when there's a party, I've got a lot of potential revenue that can be coming into my school. The best part, of course, it's all done in 90 minutes. You build good rapport with the people, and you promote your service to a captive audience. That's why birthday parties are such an important part of our business plan. Now, for the next, solid leads. I've been saying that a few times today. So these are solid leads. And a lot of people are a little, a little leery about starting. How do I start? It's hard to get people in. Well, it's easy. You start by marketing to your existing students. They already are there. They like you. They're already having fun with you in their martial arts class. And really, a school with only 50 students it could easily book 10 parties or more in the course of a year, especially if you do a couple and they get great word of mouth. Once the kids start talking, I had a great time with Sensei, I had a great time with Sifu, it was so awesome, we did this, we did that. They start talking, then other kids are talking, and they're going to want to book more parties. The average birthday party will bring you about 15 potential students. Some will have less, some will have 10 or 9, some will have 20. We, we did one party that had 62 kids at it. It was insane. But our average party brings in about 15 potential students. 
The other thing, these kids are actually excited to be at your studio because mom and dad didn't drag them in. I'm taking you to karate because you're not listening to me. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Now they're coming to your school. Why? They're going to a party. They're excited. I'm going to a karate birthday party, a ninja turtle, whatever the theme is. They're excited to be at your school, and it makes them all that more interested in doing the martial arts. And, of course, their experience with you, I put will be something, but it should be something they can't wait to tell their friends about. Now, with today's social media, it's even better. They go on Facebook. They go on Twitter. They go on Instagram, Pinterest, and they post, and they do, take pictures, and they do this, and they do that. Guess what? That's free advertising for your school, and that's going to equal more and more referrals to the parties. We also use our birthday parties for staff training. Okay, this is a great entry-level position, and it helps to groom future floor instructors because it's a no-risk uh, party for me. It's a no-risk uh, thing where I'm going to lose students. Now, I may lose potential bookings, but I'm not losing current students. So if I have a new instructor who I'm training to do uh, floor instruction or enrollments, they have to cut their teeth on birthday parties. So before anybody ends up on my floor, they've got to do birthday parties because now they learn two things. One how to take that captive audience and create, and number two, they can see the potential of revenue that they can make from a party, and I'll give you some of the numbers in that in just a few minutes. They can earn money without being on payroll. My birthday party instructors, I'll pay them anywhere from $50 to $75 to work a party, and that's if they're running a party, uh, that's the amount of money that I give them. Now think about that. I've got a 17-year-old kid who's making $50 to run a 90-minute party. That kid is making about $37.50 an hour, and I tell them that straight up. I'm going to pay you $37.50 to, to work this party. How excited are they going to be to work that party? They're going to be super excited because you know what? I'm going to tell them, how many of your friends are making $37.50 an hour? None of them. And you get to come in. You get to be the instructor. You're going to have fun with these kids, and you're going to get it all done in 90 minutes. I also give them a bonus incentive for booking. So for every appointment that's booked at the party, they get a $5 bonus. So an instructor who books 12 people can make $60 on that, plus 50, they can make $110 from one party. What do I get out of it? Well, I get the $200 that they paid me for the party. I get potentially 12 new students, and I get that $16,000 in yearly revenue that should be coming in. The enrollment directors and managers also get a bonus because once those people become appointments, when they sign them up, I pay my enrollment directors pretty well. They get a, a pretty good percentage uh, on every enrollment that they make. I actually, one of the higher end ones, I give them 30% on every enrollment that they sign up. So if they get a $99 uh, down payment, they make 30 bucks to do that right there. So it all depends on you and how you want to set it up. But my staff sees the value of doing parties because they see the value in their pocketbook. I also have an evaluation where it gives instant feedback because the party is broken down into categories and segments in, in our program that we have. So I give them feedback, and we rate them from 1 to 10 on how they did on each element of the party. If they don't hit that 90% goal, it's easy for me to show them exactly why. And most importantly, why we use it for staff training, I want to keep my weekends free. Now, that's a picture of me and my daughter, Emily, there. But when we did her, she wanted to do her birthday party as well at the school. That's how fun they are. My own kid wanted to do it. But uh, I want to keep my weekends free. Like many of you school owners, I'm here Monday through Friday. This is my day job. It's my night job. I'm here from 9 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night pretty much every day. I'm really committed and dedicated to my craft and, and what I do. So Saturday and Sunday is the time that I want to take for me. I want to kick back. I want to relax. And I also want to know that my school is still generating revenue. So I do it to keep my weekends free. But if you want to do them, by all means, feel free to do it. So here's some tips for you for success, whether you're doing a party or whether you're not doing a party. Rule number one, don't do free parties. Okay. It's been my experience that people who get something for nothing don't value it. And that way the party doesn't run right, it doesn't flow right, and it doesn't get the excitement that they want. Now, I also put in there promotional booths excluded because we do giveaways. We do booths and carnivals and fairs, and we'll have the people, one of the prizes we give away is a birthday party. Now, the birthday party, we have three levels of birthday parties. The one we give away is the basic level. So when someone wins a free party, we'll talk to them about potentially upgrading to an intermediate or advanced party, so the school will get a little revenue, but of course it's good marketing. Why is it good marketing? Because they're bringing me students. They're bringing me the people that I'm out going after on a daily basis anyway. So don't give away free parties. A lot of schools uh, will do that. They'll give a free birthday party to someone who signs up at their school. 
I, I am not a fan of that, so I will just, I'm going to go on record as saying, don't give anything away for free, okay? Start by marketing to your existing students. Now, the, the birthday letters that are inside the Mr. Marketer kit, if you're part of Champion's Way and you're using Mr. Marketer, I'm just going to do a quick sidebar. One of the most phenomenal things I've ever seen. Now, I've been doing this uh, for over 40 years, and that Mr. Marketer thing is phenomenal. So if you have it, if you're part of it, they have birthday letters built in there to help you market to your existing students. Like I said earlier, a school with just 50 students uh, could easily book 10 parties. Just think one a month uh, over the next the rest of the year. Again, remember that these kids are excited to be at your studio. Okay, they want to go because not because they're going to karate, but because they're going to a party. Uh, three sword set on Amazon.com runs about 40 bucks. Now, you can you don't I don't want you to use real samurai swords. And the, the thing with the kids cutting the cake with the samurai sword is a really big hook. If you aren't doing it, uh, start doing it. If you are doing it and you've been paying more for swords, uh, Amazon, that you know that they have everything, just type in three sword set. A bazillion of them will come up. They run anywhere between $35 and $55, and you'll get three swords. So that's three parties right there because the kids are always different sizes. My other tip for you, and, and some schools do this, some schools don't, and again, I'm just going on record as saying be a full-service party place. You are competing with bigger companies than you, so you want to make it to where there is no comparison. Be a full-service party place. Provide the paper goods. Provide the food. Provide the drinks. Do the setup and the cleanup. But one thing to remember, don't open presents at the party. And this is another thing where over the years I've had to educate a lot of school owners about this. And here's why. You now have 15 kids who are excited. They had a great party. They were doing fun things. They were doing martial arts. They had pizza. They had cake. And then one kid opens 15 gifts. And 14 kids open no gifts. What happens? You have 14 kids who are bummed out because they have one kid who's opening all the presents. So we do not open the presents at the party. Plus, if we'll do back-to-back -back parties. So sometimes the kids open presents. It takes them forever. They can't get into their gift wrapping. They can't get into anything. So it runs us into overtime, and we don't want to do that. We are happy to load the presents up in the car for the parent. We tell the parent, pull, it, pull your car up. We'll load those presents up for you, and that way you can continue the party at home. And, of course, you want their experience with you to be something that they can't wait to tell their friends about. You want the parents taking pictures. Uh, we take pictures and we email them to the parents of the birthday kid and we tell them, please post this up on Facebook, put it on Twitter, send it to your friends, uh, just tag us, you know, tag Red Dragon Karate in it, and they do it and that equals more referrals for us. So those are some of my top tips here for doing parties if you're already doing them. So why get B90Z, which is my birthday party program? It's very simple. The style that we do, Red Dragon Karate, uh, my father started our system. He got his very first black belt in judo at the Kodokan in Japan. He was one of the first 10 Americans to ever do this. He did this all the way back in 1960, I think, so a long, long time ago. So his principle, and part of the principle of what we do is, is Kano's principle, if there's any judo players out there, is called Me Me, maximum efficiency with minimum effort. And that's really what a birthday party is. You're maximizing the efficiency of gaining new students with very little effort as long as you follow the platform and the steps required to get the party going. So we want to apply that principle to the business side of the martial arts. Obviously, this helps you build your business from the inside out. If you market to existing students, you're building your business and they're referring friends and they're getting family members or whatever it is, but it's an easy way to build your business from the inside out. You already have students that like you. Why not have them have a party with you? Next one, create more revenue and book more intros. That's why we do this. We, we're, our, I'm in business. I'm in business to make money, and I'm very fortunate and blessed to be able to make a great living at my hobby. And not many people can say that. A lot of my friends that aren't in the martial arts tell me all the time, I'm so lucky, so when I forget, I just talk to them because I get to wear my pajamas all day and every day. It's great. I get to create bench strength and staffing. I'm always looking for the next level. I always want to expand and grow. We have 14 schools. I want 25 schools. So I'm always looking for new bench strength. If somebody gets sick, I need someone to replace somebody. So it allows me to train staff members with little or no risk to my existing clientele. It also allows me for them and for all my staff members to reinforce the vision of my school's success. That's what we're in business for. We're changing lives. We're helping people overcome obstacles. But at the end of the day, I'm in business to generate revenue to help my family succeed as well. 
With our program, all your marketing and advertising is included. You're going to get all the stuff, and I'll go through that in a minute. But I also have just developed a partnership with Office Max and Office Depot. So if there's an Office Max or an Office Depot near you, when you get B90Z, you actually get access to cloud-based printing where you can go right online. You'll insert your company's uh, logo and phone number into all the printed material that we have, and Office Max will deliver it right to your door, or you can go and pick it up at a local, local Office Max and Office Depot. Those two companies, by the way, have just merged, and that's why they're both on there. Office Max just bought Office Depot, um, but I have inked a deal with them to allow schools across the country to do their printing right online. And of course, you're welcome to do your printing wherever you want, but you'll have an access code that allows you, uh, starting March 1st, to print right online in the cloud. Support for my program is always available by phone or email. I am literally a phone call away or an email away. Uh, anytime that you have any questions or you want any help, uh, that this is what I do. I, I want to help people uh, grow. I want to help people generate revenue for their schools and be successful. Uh, I love the martial arts, and I love the martial arts business, and I want our business to be one of the best businesses in the world. We already know it is. It's just a matter of getting it out there. So uh, you can call me or email me at any time. With the B90Z program, unlike other programs, I have no monthly fees, no update fees, and everything is included for one low price. I make my money at my schools. I don't need to make monthly revenue off anything else. So once you have the program, it's one and done. Now, everything is included. This is the short list of everything that's included with B90Z if you want the program. There's a how-to DVD showing you the tips and a real party in action and the flow of the party and what it should look like. There's a DVD with my three secrets to success, and I, I got these secrets over the years. I've talked to school owners and leaders across the country, everybody from Bill Clark to Greg Silva to Doug Bertrand, Dan, uh, Damon Tong, people from that are just around the martial arts industry, put everybody's idea together in one cool system that works. Uh, you get a complete training manual. It's on there. You get the party evaluation sheet so you can evaluate yourself. You can evaluate staff members and give them instant feedback. You get professionally designed graphics and templates. So these things are, are awesome. And I'll show you them. You get a look at them of all the invitations and the thank you cards. It's all in there. You're going to get inserts for your prize wheel that are all professionally done. Nothing is handwritten. You even get a three-panel brochure that advertises that you do birthday parties. So literally, it's a business within a business. You get the party rules for the parents that sets the parents up to help them create more revenue for you. You get the party pricing sheet so people can see the different pricing. You get a goodie bag pass, prize wheel pass. There's so much more in the birthday party program uh, that's included with it. The other thing that I do is 10% of the sales from today's webinar go directly to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The Make-A-Wish Foundation, if you're not familiar with it, is a, a, a tax-free charity that go that helps kids that are terminally ill, it grants them their last wish. And a number of years ago, I had a student who uh, unfortunately had a brain tumor and passed away. And ever since then, we've always donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation because he, his last wish was to, to meet a, a famous baseball player, and they had him do that out here. So we, we always do that. The Compete uh, B90Z birthday party package, it's only $2.99. You can order it online at getb90z.com, or you can call me. That's my toll-free number. Uh, that number actually rings right to my cell phone. So day or night, you can call me. Just please try not to call me between midnight and 6 a.m. I do have to sleep at some point. Uh, as a bonus this weekend only, uh, the first 10 schools who actually order the B90Z program, I'm going to give you a $50 Amazon gift card. So those swords we talked about earlier, you can go get them for free because I'll put a $50 gift card from Amazon right in your kit uh, if you get it for the first 10 schools. And that's essentially what we do. Hopefully you've learned a little bit today. You've taken some tips and success ideas. If you want to take your birthday parties to the next level, uh, I'm always happy to help you with our program uh, called B90Z. So I want to thank you all for being here. If you do have questions now, Mohan, I think you're going to tell me now is the time uh, for you to type in your uh, questions. Uh, first one in here. Can you give an example of the three different party levels? Yes. My party level pricing is based on how many kids are coming because that, dis that determines how many staff members I have to have. So our three party levels are 10 kids or less, 11 kids to 15 kids, and then 16 kids and up. So we call it basic, deluxe, and extreme. Uh, the free, what's the free party at the booth? No, the free party is our basic party. I, whether I give one away or sell one, I always set it up as full service. So if we give away a 10-kid party at a booth, it's full service. We do everything. And that's one of the topics, actually, I didn't cover. 
there's another website, which is uh, orientaltrading.com, which has party goods that you can buy in bulk. If you do that and you plan to do parties, because a lot of people go, well, I've got to spend money on the paper goods. I've got to spend money on this. I gotta spend, it, it comes out to $3 per person. If you supply the plates, the napkins, the forks, the knives, the uh, decorations for the party, we decorate the party, uh, all of that average, and our decorations are reusable. So it averages out to $3 per person. 15-kid party, your out-of-pocket price is $45. Uh, next question, how does one create a vision for this party? Well, you bring the kids in, and one of the things that you tell the kids are, and a lot of people already say this and do this, our party has three simple rules. Number one, have fun. Are all you kids ready to have fun today? Oh, yes, sir, we're ready to have fun. Number two, try your best. Some of the things that we do today are going to be easy. Some are going to be a little challenging. But no matter what it is I have you do, I want you to try your best. And number three, I want you to leave here today knowing that you got a little bit better. So our three rules for the party, have fun try your best, and get better every time. And that's the vision that I pre uh, create for the kids. I bring them in, have a little mini mat chat before the party started, so I set them up for a successful day. Uh, next question, what time do you start parties, especially if you have more than one book? Well, we start our parties on Saturday. Now, we are open Saturday here at our school from 9 a.m. till about noon, so we book our first party starting at 1. Then it's a 90-minute party, so the next party technically could be booked at 2.30, but... There's a cleanup and setup time that's involved with that. So we always allow an extra half an hour between party one and party two. So if we book one party at one, we know that party's going to go from one to 2.30. We'll book the next party for three. That gives us a half hour grid in case there's anything that we need to, to do or if we're booking extra lessons, it gives us time. Uh, you mentioned a three-piece sword set. Do you end up giving one of the swords to the birthday child? Real steel swords, any liability concerns? The short answer is yes. Yes, I give them one of the swords if they book the deluxe party. The most expensive, like our parties on the thing there, that in, we recommend starting at $199, but I don't do that anymore. My lowest price party is $249, then $299, and the deluxe party with unlimited kids is $399, but they get to keep the sword. Now, the swords I get are not sharp. They are, the swords you get from Amazon aren't sharp. Uh, if you wanted to go an extra level, you can take glue and do a line of glue, uh, I forget the name of Gorilla Glue, along the edge of the blade, it makes it unsharp. So there's not necessarily a liability concern. I don't give it to the kid, obviously. I give it to the parent. Again, I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank Champions Way for setting up this seminar. Uh, I do appreciate it, and I wish you all the best of luck and much success in the future. Thank you so much for a wonderful webinar, Chris. Uh, we'll be ending the webinar.